talk a little bit about, of course, uh, when you used to work at One Football. Then, of course, we'll talk a little bit about the match towards the end of the preview. Mm -hmm. um, so, talk us through. Uh, you said in the comments, of course, that you used to work with Peter Silverstone. Uh, us Newcastle United fans know him, of course, as our commercial director. He was the commercial mm -hmm. director in yeah, Arsenal. Yeah. Um, so talk a little bit about, of course, uh, Peter Silverstone and what you did uh, with One Football whilst you worked there. Yeah, so I, mean, I can't probably can't say too much about it. Obviously, confidentiality clause, but it, yeah, I, he was a good guy. You know, he's a really good guy, Peter. And I didn't have a huge amount of interaction with him. So, yeah, we took him from Arsenal uh, into One Football. Various things happen at one football. I let you go and kind of Google, Google what happened with yeah. the web three thing, um, and then so yeah, he, he I think he just kind of saw a better opportunity at Newcastle, and, and rightly so. I think you know working at a, at a at a at a company that has just had that amount of investment has got huge opportunities to to um, invest in the infrastructure of the club, you know, to then go and sell it. I mean, it's a bit of a dream job, so. I don't really blame him for doing it. So I only had kind of limited interaction. I did speak to him on, on occasions. Yeah. Um, but my role is, is kind of head of talent. So I was kind of doing the recruitment for, for one football and hiring across the business. So sort of finding people for his team, but not too much, uh, not too much day to day. So he was, yeah, he wasn't sort of based locally to me. Ah, that's good, mate. No problem. Um, so when you did interact with him, um, you know, what kind of person was he like? Was he like a, you know, straightforward person, uh, knew what he wanted, or was he sort of like on the fence sort of kind of person? No, he was, he was quite direct. He, he kind of knew what he wanted. He was, you know, he's, he's a really good, well, I, said, I don't know what he's done at Newcastle, to be honest, since. I'd be interested to get your take on this. But but at, at, uh, at one football, he kind of, you know, he had his had his vision, knew what he wanted to do, probably didn't quite get the, the back in internally, maybe that he thought he would. I mean, you come from a club like Arsenal where, you know, you have regular... Uh, regular money uh, to, yeah. to do lots of things, and I probably couldn't couldn't quite do that there. But, but no, he was, he was a straight talker, really nice guy. I mean, you'd imagine, I guess, him being in that commercial space anyway. He's, he's, he he can, uh, yeah, he's good at good at dealing with people. So I yeah. did, I thought he was a nice guy. So no, nothing bad to say about Pete from my point of view. Yeah, he, he seems like a pretty nice, uh, straightforward guy. I mean, what he's done so far, like to touch on your question there, he's done some pretty good stuff so far with Newcastle. I mean, he's the man responsible uh, for bringing Adidas back to Newcastle United. Um, he's also done other stuff, like of all the sponsors that we've brought in, uh, the likes of Salah, uh, of course, for the front of shirt sponsor, uh, in Post, who's a brand new sponsor, that's uh, with the club. Of course, some more sponsorships as well, um, you know, like sleeve sponsors. Basically, it's just trying to get as much commercial uh, revenue into the team as possible for the FFP. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see, you know, with Man City, they've got about 46 different sponsorships, which accounts to about 70% of their income, uh, mm -hmm. you know. So that's kind of the route. I'm guessing that uh, Peter Silverstone's going to try and go down with Newcastle, try and bring that sort of investment into the team. But... Yeah, it's, uh, it's nice to hear a little bit about, uh, you know, Peter Silverstone from your mate and what you did at One Football as well. I'm sure yeah. there'll be a lot of people in the chat, you know, that'll be very interested in hearing uh, about that. You know, One Football's a massive brand. Um, I know on many occasions I've sent, you know, an email to them to try and see if they'll sponsor my channel, but... <laughs> yeah. No veal eh, on that one, unfortunately. Eh, I think keeps, I've got to be a bit higher up. Yeah, it keeps happening away. They, they do have an influencer marketing team there, so uh, yeah, it's always always worth reaching 